Hello everyone, this is Mira again with another matchup video for Laura. Once, once again, um, if you don't play Laura, that's okay. There are some general things that I will talk about. And if you're a Geef player, this is actually good as well because there are some probably some aspects of this matchup you haven't been thinking about, so you might be helped out a little bit there as well. So to go right into it, we're, we're going to start every single one of these videos about Thunderclap. Uh, since it is one of Laura's main like pressure tools and like neutral tools, uh, you have to be aware of the risks. Um, so, Thunderclap in neutral, or even during pressure, whoop, what the? <laughs> isn't the best against Geef. Um, because, uh, well, you saw their SBD, but also Lariat. He has many options to kind of deal with Thunderclap. Uh, so, like, if you try to, like, do it in, like, in, like, kind of, like, this mid-range space. There we go. Oh, it's, have to, it's hard to time, but yeah, you're gonna get scooped. You're gonna get light SBD'd. Because um, even if you're, like, Right over here, you you kind of extend your hurt box forward, and it allows for Zongiv to scoop you in places you normally wouldn't get scooped before. So, it's um against a Zongiv that knows it's kind of difficult. Obviously, if um you could try it out, um you'd be like, well, Mira, like no one's ever done that to me before. Okay, um well, they keep doing it until somebody does, and then it's like, okay, I need I need to stop. <laughs> Um, also another thing about, um, Fireball, her EX Fireball, um, in Pressure, uh, Zongief can Lariat through Stan first in an EX Fireball since there is th that gap there. Um, which one? Yeah, you can just Lariat right through it. That goes for, like, trying to do, like, a, a Crouch Medium Punch and a Fireball and an Activate or something. So if you're really close and you can get like crowd strong in an EX fireball, you should do that instead because that's a, actually a true block string and you can set up pressure that way. <laughs> oh, Zongi. Uh, no, yeah, just be very careful about um, about this because you can't really set up fireball like traps as well as like this space because of that lariat. You're just gonna yeah, hit you out of it. Um. But if you do encounter Zongiefs that don't, that's great. Just bully them. That makes the matchup uh, all all that better. Um, I know a lot of people don't really like this matchup. Most, I mean, I really don't like it either. Um, but I don't think Laura loses it very convincingly. At the very least, I think it's even or maybe slightly in Geef's favor. But, um, yeah. Let's, let's see, um try to go into some like counters for, for Zongief. First of um, is the neutral against Zongief. Uh, Zongief does have pretty good buttons, um, but so does Laura. Alright, so like the main, one of the main neutral tools is stand medium punch. Um, it has decent range, but as you see, if you can kind of pocket around this range, it's <laughs> honestly kind of light SPD range. Um, you can play around it um, with low forward because you see he extends his hurt box on his foot a little bit um, as he does the move, and you kind of like low profile it a little bit. Your hurt box um, and his hit box, uh, his hurt box and your hit box uh, line up favorably when you do this. Um, so I tend to like to do um, crouch, uh, crouch, medium kick. You can also do stand jab and ex buffers. To catch it, um, this is a new thing to season five. Um, you just have to practice it. I'm not used to it yet because I'm not not really used to being able to do a stand jab buffer into EX. You're kind of like uh, we're kind of like G now, so you can kind of play it this way. Um, you kind of want to tend to avoid big like heavy normals, especially uh, specifically because of uh, V skill one. Um, because you're gonna probably get scooped um, because of flex. Um, yeah, you're just gonna, it's gonna absorb that hit, uh, he's gonna SVD you. Um, 
You could stand fierce is a little bit better. At least you can try to cancel and like cheese with like ex clap, um, in case they do like V skill. Um, but there is one heavy normal that I use a lot in this matchup, and that is uh, actually sweep. I use sweep a lot in this matchup as a kind of like a long range poke. And the reason for this, Zongi does have a decent answer for it. But it's kind of an uncommon one, and not all the Zongis know it. And it's not even 100% reliable, like, uh, all the time. So, oops, this is his playback recording, not his guard recovery. Duh. Alright. Cool. So, if you see, I sweep, and then he tries to sweep back. It doesn't always reach, depending on the range. And now this turns into a spacing trap. So if you do, if you're doing the sweep right, um, you can uh, you can actually punish them for trying to punish you. Um, so it creates a nice space trap if they try to punish you with sweep. Um, and also like, okay, sometimes if you're really close, they'll do like SPD. Um, it's also will whiff. The one thing that is kind of reliable for them. Um, is actually stand medium- oh, that's Lariat. Stand medium kick. <laughs> yeah, stand medium kick is pretty reliable for them. Um, the thing is though, if you space it just right, um, if you're at max range, um, it's actually gonna whiff. But like I said, this is actually really reliable for them, but that's why you buffer, um, if they actually start tagging you with this and they know that this works, you start buffering, uh, hitting a crush medium punch after everything, every single one of them. Um, and eventually, like, that's a free way to get in if you're spacing it correctly. Um, it's a little difficult, but like I said, not all Zongis know that sand medium kick is the, the, the reliable punish um, for that sweep. Um, and a lot of times it just matches up favorably with their, um, with their buttons. They actually have to stop moving. Um, to actually deal with that that sweep because they can't walk forward they're gonna get hit and if they're trying to contest with buttons they're probably gonna get crush countered or hit um, because this has a pretty decent hitbox um, so it kind of will get them to stop moving and then it will allow you to have more breathing room to like walk up oops, low, like low forward um, or uh, kind of like move around a little bit easier Um, <laughs> another thing is like, um, so like a, another really reliable way to get in. So it's like, all right, I mean, like he's doing like, he's now hitting like stand heavy punch because he's trying to crush counter like either the, the, the buffers or your low forward or your sweep. They're trying to like get a uh, big damage and Oki off of it. And that's like the best thing you want is to actually see them. Um, not that button. That button's kind of actually annoying. This button. You want to see this button. They nerfed it even worse. Um, it has a huge hurt box. I'm trying to like do like max range, but like I'm all the way out here, <laughs> and I'm hitting it. Um, it's a really, it's a really bad normal for them to actually just throw out. Um, if you practice just with punishing this button, this could be like your get in uh, free with Zongief because like. This is a real, especially if they have V-Trigger, this is like their go-to activation route. Um, because Sandstrong will only combo on counter hit, Crouch Dab won't combo. Uh, they need like heavy normals to combo into V-Trigger one way. So, you can be like, alright, they have V-Trigger, I'm gonna like wait. It's kind of like, like, Bison or like Blanca that are gonna slide and activate. Like, this Zongi's probably gonna stand fierce and activate. And then you can use that to your advantage. Um, you just have to be aw uh, aware of their meter. Uh, and like I said earlier, yeah, this button is an un annoying. Crouch jab. Um, but you have your own stand short buffers to contend with this. You have really good uh, normals as well for this. Your, your crouch jab isn't bad either. Um, and your crouch strong uh, matches up pretty well with it. You can stand outside like this range and kind of like buffer crouch medium punch like counter poke that light if they're only like mashing or they're only mashing crouch light punch i mean also like sweep works as well um it's not great though 
because uh, it's really actually really annoying. <laughs> annoying. <laughs> it's really annoying, but yeah. Yeah, you can just, if you just match up with his sweep and you literally just do this, his crouch dab is going to get probably crush countered. Um, yeah, Zongi, he's annoying, he's an annoying character. You have to play a little bit different in this matchup, and that's why a lot of, like, Loras don't like this matchup, because you have to, you have to forego some of your, like, normal tools, like Thunderclap. Um, you can't hit like stand heavy kick, um, stand medium kick, that's really a no-go because of e-skill one, you'll probably get flexed and it's no, no bueno. Um, light bolt is okay, it's very dangerous because of the flex, um, I would use it very, very sparingly. Um, you have to treat, I mean Zangief is a giant bear trying to kill you, you have to be very cautious. Uh, you can't be too reckless because he does a lot of damage and if he lands one EX SPD or heavy SPD That could mean the end of you if you don't guess right a couple times and Yeah, it's very scary. That's why like Being aware like so I say you you get the hit um Do I have any did I not record any wake-up options? Shoot Okay Well, let's see so how I do that, that was in reversal timing. But um, you have to be just aware of his options and his uh, meter. Um, because sometimes it's not even worth pressuring Zongief if he has like three bars. Like say that he has like, yeah, he has three bars and you're afraid of that. But sometimes some Zongiefs know that and then they'll like, They'll, they'll either like neutral jump headbutt or something, or like try to neutral jump SPDU. Um, honestly, sometimes the best thing like is just to back off, like after pressure, or just don't even go over there in the first place. Um, because especially if you have the lake lead, it, it doesn't matter. That that e either EX SPD or critical art could really turn the time for them, and you could just force them to play neutral one a couple more times. Um, so once you really get comfortable in the neutral against Zongief, the matchup will actually get a lot easier, and you can um, weigh your risk rewards to like pressure them or not. Um, so if they don't really have, if they don't have critical art and say they wake up with flex, um, tick throws is like, are actually very, very strong against Zongief because you can't recover in time. Um, to like get out of this so it's actually like layering your tick throws um layering tick throws and layering oh why did my button come out <laughs> layering like a uh, stand short what the something's wrong with my stand short button on uh on this thing yeah but layering also that as well because flex only has two hits of armor uh, unless he walks forward, and if he walks forward, then he has to release, um, uh, then he has to actually release that, uh, thing and do the move, and you can either whip punish him, or you just jump over them and then go, ha, ah, and, yeah, you're still at advantage. Um, that, and you just have to also be careful about EXSBD, obviously, on wake up is throw invul. So, I use a lot of, actually, normal throws and strikes against Zongief. Um, due to this, um, command grabs are used to be really, really strong actually against Zongief because of the light bolt. Um, but now to the the, the existence of V e shift has changed it a tiny bit. Um, because um, now they have a different layer to get up. I actually have gotten supered before after trying to do a meaty light bolt. And they did a uh, V shift because they are they're not they're not um, plus enough to to actually like punish you uh, with anything but super. So if you're aware of that, um, I would just actually jump back if you see that because um, they're gonna try to like either SPD or something. Maybe they'll try to do a hard call out to jump call that out with a jump SPD, but. Um, yeah, that that's the game you're gonna have to start playing. Um, yeah, but after that, like if you really see like, oh, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna be ship. You can delay your light bolt, 
or you can like you can do a, like a forward heavy punch to try to call it out um it's kind of hard yeah it's kind of hard the best the most like reliable honestly that i found is just dashing up after a, a command grab but honestly sometimes it's just better to let the geef go because why take the risk um unless you really need a comeback um if they lose the in one bar a meter, they're probably not going to get V trigger in that round, so it's it's okay. Um, another thing I want to talk about is um, defending against Zeke Geef, because like everyone's like, oh no, like I I got hit by it. like Zangief, like it's over, it's done, GG is like they still have to make correct reads. Um, and there's obviously a more risk um, or. Uh, oh my gosh, I need to fix the stick. Um, yeah, there's a more risk to it and, or reward to his options. Because obviously, like, heavy SVD is going to have the most uh, reward to it as, like, some of the best damage and he gets better. Uh, he gets to loop it. Um, but crouch short, crouch jab. It does less damage and he doesn't get that great of Oki off of it. Um, so sometimes it's better to, like, well, I might want to backdash. But then there's always the hard call out of them doing stand roundhouse and crush countering you. Um, or they're going to try to air SPD you. Um, so one thing I found that works pretty well against Zongief in general. Uh, it's just layering. Well, you gotta layer your options and sometimes do something unexpected. Um, like jump forward, like roundhouse. Um, you were actually, I was actually plus there. Um, something like that. Um, to try to escape. Um, uh, cause look how far she goes. Um, and it's just a good way to get out. The thing is, like, I think you might get crush countered by Stand Roundhouse if you do that. I can't remember. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So that's actually a really good ex escape option. Um, they have to do Crouch Short, Crouch Dab into, um, uh, whatchamacallit, into a Lariat. And they don't get as good as Oki off of it. Um, so there's that. But it's just honestly, at the end of the day, it's a 50-50. Um, me shift will help against uh, some of the options, but the problem is um, with uh, the problem with this. I don't know. Let's let's find out together if uh, the delay SVD is going to probably catch you. Let's see. Let's see. Yep. Um, so that will catch you. If they'd like to want to delay an SPD, I was holding up. So, they can, they can act layer their pressure by like, like that way as well. So B-Shift isn't a, just a free get away. Um, <laughs> so always be careful about that. Um, I just want to talk about his V-Skill 2 real quick. Uh, his V-Skill 2... Oop, that's Laura's V-Skill. We all know that. <laughs> okay. So yeah, he charges it up, he gets an armor break, um, does that little kick thing, um, he can cancel it forward or back. So that's the only options that he has um, with this V skill. So, what? Oh, okay. I was wondering what what is happening. So if you just see him charging it and you're over here, just just stay over here because you can whip punish it. Um, and you can just wait for him. Alright, is he gonna... Okay, if he backdashes it, cool. I'm just gonna walk forward. Um, and if he forward dashes, that's what you really want to look out for is that forward dash. Um, and to try to punish that. You don't want to get dash forward into SPD. So that's the real thing you're looking for if you see them charge and you're at this range. Because you can miss that whip punish, but you do not want to miss this dash and get uh, SPD'd. Um, another thing, if you're really close, you can honestly just, uh, you can just punish it with a crouch jab. So you can honestly, if you see them, uh, charge it up a little bit, 
you can if you want you can walk forward a little bit um and then do a crouch jab punish uh and it's, it's actually really good now with a uh, ex you get really good oki and damage um for that punish so it's a very risky option for them to just throw out there um another thing um if they just activate um into nothing with a let me let me do a interval he's actually minus six um you can also jump it jump this activation on reaction and punish him uh, so it's not a very good thing for them to just throw out um, same thing if they're doing like like if they're already activated and a button into the suck it's they're like if you block it um you're going to be um plus six as well so they can't just cheese that out they have to commit to actually doing like one full rotation of it uh so there's that i don't know if y'all need that but that was, that's a pretty common um thing to look out for against songi and also um i think that's about it just be very uh cautious against zongi he is yeah like i said he is he's a demon bear and you don't want to be like too close for him for too long or make too many reckless like errors like i'm just you don't want to be throwing yourself at him uh like with little thought about it because he will hug you for your mistakes and try to console you and you'll die <laughs> just just it's a it's another grindy matchup that's why it's just it's not fun because you can't use all of your tools there's limited options but the options that you do have actually are pretty strong. So I would definitely, definitely like practice the neutral. Because that's the key to winning this matchup is the neutral. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah. I love you guys. Be safe. I hope you all learned something today. Um, yeah. And... Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.